Uncle Gideon! What's the rush? It's Sunday. They've gone. What's gone? Floss and Simmy the baby, they've taken all their things. Oh, no. I know the old money. We'd have managed somehow. Trouble is, we're stuck now with their share at rent. I'll miss them. Better flit, though, than go to prison. They've done not wrong. Sim could be put in prison till Floss paid off what they owe. How could he work after his arm got crushed? My God's fault. She has Floss for sixpence. Sixpence? Just fucking after a baby while Sim went after a job? That's draw what broke a camel's back. What's the trouble? I don't know. Proverb mean you can't take no more. What like so been all money for a collection flirt today? Not with an extra three bob rent to find for our room. Roger's got money. Aye. So he built to buy a grandpa new lamp, lamp he says. Aye, but what's he done to get it? Who is this is? Hey, at least we have a bit more room. Only five of us. You going courting, Uncle Gideon? I'll maybe see Abigail after chapel. It is at quarter to one sharp. Bossy madam. Oh, there's more chalk than goodness in that flour. Mm, best quality, Baker said. He would, wouldn't he? What's for dinner? Beef stew and dumplings. Grand. Chalk dumplings, Uncle Gideon reckons. Hmm? The baker's been up to his tricks to make flour go further. And you're not to try getting your own back. Yo! With her. She's all hot and feverish, aren't you, pet? There. Now, do you want to stop here and rest yourself better? Mm. I'll stop with her. I will, lass. You'll get off to your lessons. I hope his oven's not full. Poor Uncle Gideon, eh? All pushed up here to meet Abigail. Are we going in? Not now, I'm all clean. Sounds not pretending, is she? She cries a lot, never used to. Something in Bradley that makes her cry more. Found a space. Cut by half past twelve, all right. Off we go then. Just a minute, I want to see them spiders dangling off their cobwebs. What's your first class? Object lesson with Mr. Butler. We've got picturing out, Mr. Tillotson. I hate old bottle. Only because it does all the training. It is called the camel. What did I say its name was? The camel. Camel is the name of this animal. The camel, children, lives in hot countries such as Arabia in Asia. Tell me the name of a country in Asia. Arabia! Where there are hot, sandy deserts in which there are neither trees nor... Grass! What is the shape of this object? Round! Round circular or round globe-shaped? Round globe-shaped! With what is this object covered? Aye. Water's turned bad, eh? Stick to beer if I could afford it. Standpipes are foul all over Bradley. Well, Sim Paulson. I'm glad to see thee, Sim. What have you done with Floss and Baby? I've taken them to the workhouse. She's... She's in the family way again, Gideon. Ah. We couldn't go on without I find some paying jobs to do. Somebody will take you on. You're clever. I bet you can read all that newspaper. Aye, there's one left lying around. Three days old, this is. And you can talk. What about school mastering? Paying jobs, I said. Teachers here work for now. Well, for God, then. Please, Mr Tillerson. Can I 
Can I teach little ones pensions and pence now? I've been adding up the family wages. So I see. Then I've done a subtraction of one shilling and sixpence. In case I sell this poorly all week. Sally works at the factory. Isn't it right, Master? The sums are right, Joseph. Blots, girl, blots! Very good. Read it to me. It is easier for a camel to pass through an eagle's eye than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes. The camel, children, can store water in... The loaves and hunches. Humps on its back. How many humps does a camel have on its back? Two. The camel has two humps on its back. Well done, children. I wish I'd lost my life when I lost the limb. Then Floss could have married again. A man she wouldn't have to keep. And what did Floss say when you put that notion to her? Not a lot. She boxed me ears and gave us a right big kiss. Well, then, I best get back to Sally. She's feverish. Why not come back and all? Feverish, eh? I don't like the sound of that. No, I doubt it's catching. Rest of them at lessons. Look, Gideon, listen. There's typhus about. Folk dropping like nine pins. Look. You should get a doctor to her quick. Typhus. Oh, dear God. What use is a doctor when a lass is typhus? If a scholar be convicted of cursing or swearing, quarrelling or willful, lying, or calling nicknames, or using indecent language, a first offender will be soldiers. Move. A second offence will be punished. And for three offences, a scholar will be expelled. Rule 11 says, when you're dismissed, you must go straight home without loitering, loitering in the streets. And if any be seen running or jumping or playing, playing at any game, or any misbehaviour will be treated as in Rule 9. Dismiss! I won't go near her. She'll not notice much now, Doctor says. How did she get so poorly? Bad water from standpipes. Lots of folk are down with typhus since the storms. Washed out all the drains and cesspools. Rinsed out sewers. Even trickled through graveyards into our drinking water. Now that's low again, it's thick with disease. But what about what full of sweet rain since you scraped it out? It weren't. Topped it up. And fetching bucketfuls from Stampipe and topping it up. It's my fault. I thought I was doing right. Hey, it's not your fault. She could have taken a drink anyway, Joe. Are no, you not ill? <sighs> well, will she die? We might all have to be brave. Out can save her now. <laughs> but if the children could ask her a blessing in the prayers. And we'll pray for comfort to the living. I'm deeply sorry, Mr. Harrop. It's the will of God. It is the greed and folly of men. A judgment on our sins. I'll not have a little girl's last hours made heavy with talk of sin. It's no sin to be born poor. Sin comes from knowing right from wrong and failing to do right. 
Now, enough so-called God-fearing men knew it was risky to drink the water. Aye. And enough of them knew boys and girls shouldn't work over long in factories and all. I should have spoken before. I've seen what happens to troublemakers. We have laws to protect children. And where are the factory inspectors to enforce it? Factory owners are more concerned with profits. Even your charge hands turned a blind eye if they can get hold of some cheap labour. Doing right costs money. <laughs> Aren't poor children worth spending money on? Of course they are. This school wouldn't be here if people didn't care. Their lives will get easier. Healthier. It can be done. Too late to help Sal. And what are you going to do, young man? Me? Yes. You. I'll make a nuisance of myself over this. I used to be afraid at bosses. Not anymore. It suits them to keep us in ignorance of our rights. I'll be a nuisance all my life if needs be. I'll stand by thee, Gideon Arab. Your dad do this to thee. Fighting drunk as usual. Oh, all men, don't worry. Her lips are parched. <laughs> There's so much pain and toil in living. At least I hasn't had to suffer many years. At least she'll be out of it, eh? She'll be free. We must bear our suffering. Not give in. Sal. Drink this. It's pure. It's good for you, Sal. Wherever did he get these nice oranges? I'm not asking. Stole them, didn't he? I reckon he steals all the time. It's got to stop. We can we tell? Nobody. Uncle Gideon will be worse upset than he is already. If he's found out, he'll go to prison. And oh yeah, maybe. Robbing a shop too. For being caught, trying to. Right on dinner time. Bring the machine down when it stops. No, I won't, sir. I'll take the half hour for my meal, as is lawful. What? All right, for half an hour for his dinner. All on us. Oh, don't get all. I'll not have disobedience. Why so, sir? We must obey the laws of the land, mustn't we? Who do you think you are, eh? A citizen, sir. We have citizens' rights. And another thing, children under 13 won't be back this afternoon. Won't be back? No. They're to receive the three hours schooling, as is lawful. And that one there, him there, he won't be working here for another year at least. He's too young, and you know it. And what about his family, eh? Depending on his wages. Why, if there was less children employed, he'd have more jobs to offer their parents, wouldn't you? Much better all around, I'd say. Right, go for your dinners. Go on! You have only 20 minutes now. Go on! Entertainment's over. You haven't got the end of this. Wait for I tell Master. As if you had enough troubles, half his workforce off sick. Oh, oh well now. If he's worried, happens something will get done about water supplies. What's going on here? What do you want to cause trouble for? We've all got to live. There's a little girl dying. Because all us could have helped her fail to do right in time. That's why. Right, go and get your dinner. Straight after, clean this machine down, eh? Don't go inside for a minute. Won't be 
you know, miracles, will they? Not these days, love. How long can we keep her with us? She'll have to bide here till Gideon has money for a burial. He'll not want to rest her in a pauper's grave. I've got some money. Anyway, a little soul's in heaven now, among the angels. Stop thieving, Roger. Thieves don't go to heaven. One robber did. That one that was sorry. First in paradise he were. Are you sorry? For stealing things? Like them oranges off Mr Bottle? I never did. I'd never steal a full bottle. He gave me them oranges. Honest. He gave me them. The salt. I can't find words. You'll have to know. I'm grieving worse. He may be dead himself. We've heard now to their father since he were transported. How will you tell our grandpa? To his face. To be a cruel hard letter to send. Want to rest it nearby. Am I to come with thee? It's a long walk there and back, lass. I won't feel so bad about them living in town now if they can get a bit of proper schooling. What'll you do if they're only bringing in half wages? Likely you could find work at the factory. And live where? With me and children. I never wanted and wished on me that nose. I was free. Just getting by on my own. In this lot. I could never turn me back on them. Well, thank you kindly for your offer. Don't thank me, lass. We need your earnings. You'd be welcome. I might keep your clothes mended and all, if you're a good man and treat us respectful. You'd have to do right. Wedders. Well, all of you. What it amounts to. Right then. I'll marry thee.